Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show a detailed review about the German tank, German medium tank, which is VK3001P. This is a medium tank, even though it doesn't feel like it when you first get it. It's a really good tank, it has fine armor and a really good gun. And I will be reviewing it and showing gameplay of it. Okay, now let's see why do you want to get this tank or why do you want to play through this tank. You want to play through this tank to get the mouse which you know is a really good tank and a tier 10 heavy, super heavy I should say, which in my opinion is one of the best tier 10 super heavies and that's why you have to play through this line. You have to play the VK301P and the Tiger P. And now let's see how this tank compares. It has not the best armor, but a fine armor. I wouldn't say it's too bad or anything. And it has a okayish engine, um, not too maneuverable, but is faster than the other tank. The other one which I am talking about is this VK3601H which is a heavy and it really feels like it and I would actually recommend one thing when you first get this tank buy the engine first of all because the engine is really important because when you get the standard engine it does not have the horsepower to propel this tank forward and you need to get the better engine in this tank in my opinion the first thing you should get is the engine and you should also get the gun I wouldn't say the gun is too bad the normal gun on this but I think you should get this you should use the 88 cent millimeter centimeter gun which is which has a high alpha damage of of actually 220 on the AP which is quite a lot and you don't get that much on APCR you get higher alpha on HE but not that much pen and I think with this gun you can quite literally pen nearly everything if you are using APCR the premium ammo you can then and mostly all tier 7s if I'm correct then it's a really good tank and uh, you should actually play through this one and now I will show me show you my ammo loadout which is as you can see 43 3 4 you can change them I mean I don't carry much APCR because I don't want to waste credits you see I don't have much credits right now. I just bought the new tank, that's why. And uh, I use the standard fuel. You could use the improved fuel. I recommend that. And also could use the chocolate and the small chocolate bar. Because they will increase the crew skills. I already have mine at 100. 100%. So I didn't even need them. And I use this because it increased the transverse degrees and engine power. And I use this as a loadout. I use the engine booster because when I first actually bought the tank, it was so slow. <laughs> it never even picked off the line. And you could only go about 20 kilometers an hour, which is really slow for a medium. I don't know why they classify it as a medium. It's literally heavy, a heavy tank. It when you get the better engine in the tracks, I think it becomes a bit better. <laughs> okay. And as comparison to the VK306H, I think this one does not have that much good armor. I will show you the armor in the armor inspector. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm shooting this tank with the tier 6 3601 heavy which is, which has the same gun as this tank so it's literally shooting itself so as you can see it, it's mostly penable and uh, you have 100% shot 
going through most of the places unless you are shooting at the turret which is quite hard to penetrate if you are angling it down and the sides are non penetrable if you are angling them but the whole front and also this part over here penetrable the and if you just turn it a little bit I mean it's penetrable you can if you make an angle like this it's penetrable too so even if you are making a good angle the couple on top of this tank is easily the most easiest spot to pen on this turret because otherwise you cannot pen this turret from the front because it has a good front tower but the tank has not that good armor overall and that's where its downfall is now I'm going to show you the gameplay after this I have reviewed the tank and will show you more in the gameplay itself I might be trying to do over voiceover after playing the game or might be doing the normal voiceover while playing the game we'll see how it goes okay if my voiceover technique does not work then you will be hearing to this um, the live voice voiceover, voiceover I would say because I was thinking of first recording the video then doing a voiceover so that I could highlight more points about this stuff anyway let's see how this goes this tank has fine pickup speed and, and it's quite maneuverable, I would say. Has a decent enough terrain resistance and it's fast enough. When you have the better engine, I would prefer you to get the best engine on this tank as quick as possible. Yes, it does slow down a lot when you are going uphill sometimes but mostly it's not too big of a problem and it has a good hit point okay I see the KV2 over there need to take that thing out as soon as possible because he's the biggest threat on the enemy team right now do not have too many other big threats there's a KV1 but that I won't count as the threat. Need to kill these guys. Let's get some sniping shots. Oh shit. No damage. <laughs> it has a fine reload speed, so you're not going to have to worry too much about trading shots. Whereas you are going to have to face the problem of this tank not having the best view range. It's a German medium, what do you expect? Man? Oh no, 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 no. I use both my things. Oh shit. This is not gonna be a too good of a game, <laughs> let me tell you. I'm not lagging this time, but I mean, still, it's not. Oh no, I'm dead. Anyway, thank you for joining. We'll see you in the next gameplay. <laughs> anyway. Okay, having another go with this tank. Yeah. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my videos and uh, watch other tank reviews. And also leave comments down so that I could improve on anything that you ask for, okay? Okay, the last two gameplays with this tank. Okay, I'm starting a lot late. <laughs> it's like I was AFK. 
Anyway. Thing about this thing, it's mobile enough to go anywhere and do anything with. But at the same time, it has a good gun, a fine armor. I wouldn't say you can side scrape with this. You can try, but you won't produce many bounces. Oh no no no! Like that. Yeah. I'm gonna take one at him. So we are actually going to cap the base this time it feels like and I'm on the defending part of capping the base. <laughs> I have to defend everyone, literally. Oh I'm dead. Oh I'm so dead. <laughs> okay. We'll show one more gameplay. Okay. We will lose this one. Okay, so this is going to be the final gameplay that I will be showing for this tank. And yes, I am going, I'm actually getting all the tier 7s now, so after this, I will be showing tier 7 gameplay, which I think will be really good because. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see how this one goes. I don't want to make these videos too long. I have to avoid that KV2 at any cost. And I have got the KV2 now, so... Now I know how it feels to drive that thing. Man, it's so much fun. You could one-shot anything, man. Oh, that didn't hit anyone. No. Uh, what about the church over here? It's low enough. Yes. Yes, my head didn't went to waste. And this tank is best known for its sniping capability, which I'm showing you right here. I don't know how clear my voice is right now, because... I don't know, my hand is over the voice recording thing, so <laughs> it might be really bad quality voice. So anyway, I think um, we are going to lose this one because, I don't know, there's a KV2 on the enemy thing. <laughs> you can't say anything till he's dead because he could one shot nearly everything. If he gets the shot, like that, that is, he's aiming at something, he's not aiming at me, which is fine, got one shot on him, oh man, that thing just ammo ragged me, god damn it, anyway, thank you for watching my video and please leave a like and subscribe, um bye see you next time next time i will be reviewing maybe the kv2 or the cromwell we'll see you next